Escape Velocity, a short film by Mahmoud Mahmoud. Exo Emigration Space Center, dorm room, night. A small dorm room, bunk beds taking up most of the space, books and graphs piled over every free space. The lights are off. A faint glow comes from the lower bunk. A tablet, gripped tightly, plays an infavid of a spacecraft taking off and blasting past the moon, Mars, Jupiter. Taking that 30 year voyage, you are pioneers, handpicked to leave the confines of our system to take the trip to your new home. The spacecraft enters a new solar system and orbits a planet a lot like Earth, but the orange tinge to its skies. Keris, permanent furrow to her brow, still fully dressed in plain and utilitarian clothing and lying on her duvet, pauses the video. She tracks back to the beginning. Humanity has always looked to the stars, wandering at them, dreaming. Keris, how many times are you going to watch that clip? May, her eyes dark with the deep tiredness of 20 hour days, leans over from the top bunk. Keris pauses her tablet. So it was quiet. You woke me up. I'm trying to get some sleep before jumping on a rocket and leaving Earth tomorrow. I said I was sorry. May flips down from her bunk and takes Keris's tablet away from her, turning it off. Actually, you didn't. Why watch that propaganda again and again? You're already on the mission. Unless you're having second thoughts. No. You are, aren't you? Are you insane? I I'm not talking about this. No one has done this before. No one. It's a one-way trip. So? What's here for you? It took so much to get this far. Being here is a gift. If you don't see that, leave. Let someone else go. Mm -hmm. Then go back out there. Make up your mind and let me get some sleep. May. May. Nothing. Keris gets up and walks over to the door. Attached is a photo of 40 smartly dressed people standing in front of a large rocket with the sign, First Wave 2058. Keris and May at the front. Keris opens the door and leaves. Keris, a rucksack slung over her shoulder, walks into a sterile reception area. A lone security guard sits behind a counter. She looks up at Keris from the book she's reading. I'm just getting some air. Big day tomorrow. Don't leave the grounds. Exo Emigration Space Centre. Perimeter wall. Night. At a chain link fence, Keris pushes through a small gap. She brings her hand to her ear and presses it gently. It's me. Not a joke. You guys free? Keris pushes through a busy crowd on a smoke-filled, polluted city street. She, like many others, is wearing a gas mask designed to filter air. She comes to a grotty-looking bar and pushes inside. Air bar. Night. A whoosh of filtered air hits her as she walks in. She pulls off her mask. The bar is full of people breathing freely. Off at a table on the other side of the bar, a man and a woman stand to greet her. Ali, suited and booted at home in any bar he finds himself in, waves her over. Keris darts through the crowd, but before she can say a word, is waylaid into a hug by Sade, her bright style out of step with the muted colours worn by the bar's other patrons. She makes sure she stands out. Sade! Ali! I missed you both! Likewise! L let her sit. Sade lets go and they drop into seats around the table. Sade grips Keris by the arm in a familiar gesture. So, how? How are you here? Yes, you said I'd not be able to get to meet again. A company policy. <laughs> no way around it, guys. Pretend I've already left. <laughs> you quit? Are you coming home? Both of you, take a breath. Just, just taking some time, okay? I just wanted to see you both. Oh. 
Well, to see you too. Isn't it Shadi? Yeah. I wanted to see family before I left. And you two are the closest thing I have to that. Well, Omar too. You, Omar? Uh, answer phone. Probably blocked me. Don't blame him. What? She, she means it was messy, the two of you. Uh, I guess. So what's new? Sade got a higher floor approval from the housing board, almost out of smog. Oh, that's fantastic. Do you remember when um, the three of us were camped out in a sub-basement, <laughs> sorting recycled, ju recycled junk and praying for work? Bad times. Bad, bad times. <laughs> Are you excited about your new place? Shut it. She, she told herself uh, when, when you called. If we're um, family, why are you leaving us? We settled this months ago. You're so calm about it. When you wake up, we'll be dead or, or good as. She chose what she had. I'm, I'm a bad person for having dreams. You're a bad person for leaving us. I want the best for you, but this is painful and, and, and you're acting like it's not. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have come. <laughs> you let us go, so, so let us go. Sade walks out. Ali and Keris remain at the table. Do you feel that way too? I'm in denial. On a trip. I'll send you messages. Knowing you can't reply. Healthier than people give credit for. Our last goodbye was better. Maybe just leave well enough alone when you're bonding with aliens. Alia, I'm sorry. We have to be where we have to be. I'm, I'm going to find Shade. Have a great life. I mean that. Ali hugs Keris and walks away. Interior, air bar, counter, night. Keris sits alone at the counter, staring into the bottom of her glass. Need another, or are you ready to head? Omar, late twenties, underfed and overworked, his easygoing demeanour practised, not natural. I thought you blocked me! I, uh, I did. Um, Ali, called. Oh. They hate me. We should leave. What's the point? They're hurt. Pride's like painted rust and this was corrosive. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry. You, um, you seem messed. <laughs> Let's go. An industrial park built in, onto the side of a mountain amongst the broken down machinery and falling apart warehouses and old factories, flowers and trees have sprung up, choking out the grey. Omar and Keris walk over the cracked concrete above the metropolis below and all its pollution. I forgot about this place. You forgot the place you can breathe without paying. <laughs> Exo whatever spoiled you. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Stop saying sorry. That's all I've heard. You came back, opened old wounds, and just apologized again and again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I don't mean to. <laughs> and uh, I don't mean to be a dick. Oh, it comes natural. <laughs> old Karis lives. Hey, funny. You still the good guy then? <sighs> And be like that. I'm not being sarcastic. You're a teacher. You volunteer your time away. Eco activist. Superman. I uh, see. I just hear dickhead, dickhead, dickhead. Uh, <laughs> what about what about you, Superwoman? Look, 
I don't know why I came back. I don't I don't know if I should go. Stay on. Oh, I've been on autopilot for so long. Training for all this. I didn't think what I'd lose. Okay. An honest answer. Let's debate. The kids like it. Uh, why go? Exploration. Adventure. Hope. Could find all that here, plus community, altruism. Mm. Ambition. That's the one. Mm. Is that bad? <laughs> Stop apologising. You want to go? You want me to stay? <laughs> yeah, I closed that feeling off a while back. Not an answer. <laughs> Come back to mine. A tiny one bedroom apartment, a mess of photos and books. Keris sits on Omar's bed. She looks around and sees a newspaper clipping. A framed photo of her and the other exo emigrants. Omar enters the room with two cups of coffee. <laughs> Real coffee? Been saving it. You've been pining for me. Oh, this girl thinks she's all that. He sits on the bed beside her. Keris points out the photo. What? Oh, oh. shit. You hated that programme. Hated that I was on it. Hated the whole... I... I think it's easy to turn tail and, and run from the shit world they left us. Doesn't mean I'm not proud you got what you want, what you dreamt. Keris leans over and kisses him. This is uh, gonna hurt more now, unless you stay. Stay? Stay. Don't, don't go. Keris puts down the coffee. They kiss again. Omar's place, dawn. Omar sleeps beside Keris. She's wide awake. She gets up and looks at the newspaper clipping of herself. She kisses Omar on the cheek, takes a pen and writes a note. Sorry. Crosses it out. Thank you. She leaves. Exo Emigration Space Centre, dorm room, day. May is packing away her things. The door behind her opens. Keris enters. May looks at her and smiles. Keris starts packing up next to her. You know what you want. I stop running. May nods. They leave the room together. Launch rocket. Day. May, Keris and a host of others sit strapped into sleep chambers. Their capsules face the rapidly receding sight of planet Earth. As Keris falls asleep, it blinks out of sight. End. <laughs>